Are you ready to discover who you came here to be? Welcome to the Human Design and Astro Club podcast. Human Design is a system and a tool that is here to empower you and show you your greatest potential. Come learn with us and discover who you really are. Hi friends, Crystal here. Before we dive into this episode, I wanted to jump on here real quick and let you know about a few of our offers. We don't just do transits on here and we don't just interview people. We also have deeper ways for you to connect to yourself as well as others. Our first offer is actually completely free. It's our free guide to honoring your strategy and authority and tips and tricks to do so. If you struggle with this place, if you struggle with what your authority is, if you're still confused about your type, I highly suggest picking up this free guide. We also have our manual to your true self. If you struggle with the languaging behind human design, if you don't understand the parts of the body graph or how to read your chart, I highly recommend picking up our manual to your true self. We go through all the key terms and ways to integrate this information. Let's move on to our classes. We have a bunch of classes that we just launched um, that are all connected to the variables. The variables are connected to the four transformations. So this is your unique path to your true self. And our first class is actually our determination class. And this class is helping you understand the way in which you eat. It shows you the correct environment for you to eat in and also the way in which you take in information. Our next class is our cognition class that is also connected to the brain and it helps you understand the way your body interprets frequency. It is your unique super sense that aligns your vehicle. In our third class, we actually just launched. We're super excited about it and it's our environments class. This class helps you understand how your unique vehicle aligns to your outside world. It shows you the correct people that you might connect to in your correct environment. It shows you your true success. Now, after you go through these classes, if you're feeling like you need a little bit of extra support, if you're feeling like you want to understand how to decondition at a deeper level, if you're looking for community, I highly suggest checking out our human design support group. We have a bunch of differentiated folks in there that are going through the same process as you. We have two Zoom calls a month and we also have a community page where you can ask any questions about your design or thing or just share, simply share what you're going through. Now our last offer is our 2022 forecast for the year. We go through all of the key players of what's going on for 2022 through the lens of human design, astrology, and tarot. If any of these offers sound riveting to you, I highly suggest picking them up. You can check them out in our descriptions of our show notes down below. Hello, friends. My YouTube friends. I'm waving at my YouTube friends. You t- all, all two of you. How you doing? How you doing out there in in the YouTube ethers and the podcast wherever you are streaming, listening, outer space? Where I don't know. Where are you? Where are you listening to this <laughs> podcast slash YouTube video? It's very. I'm like, how do I look at the camera and stay close to my microphone at the same time i don't i don't know i feel like with this microphone i have to literally like be inside of it so before when no one could see me it was like less weird and awkward oh wait now you can see my pillow oh wait you don't want to see my pillow hold on (laughs) i didn't even notice actually 
I have a little pillow behind it to try to muffle the sound. Uh, muffle the sound as best as I could. That's my third line. <laughs> <laughs> my third line trick. Well, I'll I'll be as close as I can. We'll see. I'm trying to drink tea at the same time. I'm not a good multitasker as a left brain and mind person. Like I really want to be, but it's just not a skill that I that I possess. And when I when I found that out, I was like, human design's real. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the same for you because you're you're right and you're the world is not made for you, right? Yeah. Your brains. I mean, we're coming into you, but it's not made for you right now. Funny you say that because on St. Patrick's Day, we went out to eat with the my kids and my husband. And uh, we don't go out very often and like past like 2020 or whatever. Yeah. So the ki- like just the kids in general, it's just easier to handle them while we're at home. And one of them is calm determination. So she can't even handle being out in public. Um, so we go to this restaurant and there was a family sitting uh, behind, like behind me and like I were, you know, ordering. And then I suddenly realized that the people were talking about a college that both my husband and I went to, and it was so strange that they had been talking about this, but I I wasn't listening to anything except for like paying attention to like the table. And, and I said it to my husband, I'm like, Oh, they go to to main maritime and he was like yeah welcome to the conversation leah and i was like they're not even (laughs) on our table like it was so funny because he was listening in on like because he had picked it up from something that they had said and so it peaked it peaked his interest and he does that like he can listen to four or five other people's conversations around him well that's right he'll be in the conversation with you is he is he all right though the top two are both right exactly I thought you meant all four. No. I got you. <laughs> yes, the top two. about the brain and the mind. Yeah, because when you said, because what got me was when you said that he can listen to multiple conversations happening at one time, I was like, that's a right, right. That's a right writer. That's, that's a writer. Right. You're right, right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah. That's, that's right dominance right there. Um, yeah. I'm like, I... When I get into groups of people, I'm like, who's in front of me? Let me sit in front of the most interesting person because I will not be able to get this full mm-hmm. conversation. So, yeah, I think the kids, both my kids are left. I don't know if both of them are left, both the arrows, but they definitely cannot do more than one thing at one time. Olivia will be like, she can't even like look at you if she's doing one other thing. It's hilarious. Well, Milo is also left dominant as well. And he is also left brain and mind. And he's also consecutive. So with that, when he, and he still does it, but now he's just gotten so fast at picking up one toy at a time. But I, when I tell him to clean up, he can only take one toy to the bin at one time. <laughs> and it's painful. But, but he's got, because he's a manifester, I got to film this one day. It's like lightning speed. Now, when I tell him to clean up, he's like, um, Sonic, like that's what it looks like. And Sonic is definitely a manifester. And that is my, one of Milo's favorite movies. I don't know if you've seen Sonic. He's, he's a manifester, right? I mean, look at him. He's, he's, I don't know. Please don't take this personally. Manifestors, a little bit of a loner, a little bit on the, on the, on the outsider. It's just, it's a, it's a natural thing. Split definition manifestors. Maybe you like to come together a little bit more with people, but I will say, you know, you manifestors, they like to have their alone time. It's really important. I think non sacrals in general, but manifestors, like, especially when they're going through their urges, they need to have the space. Yeah. Like that's one thing that I've learned is that when Milo's going through, like right now, he's sitting right outside my door watching you i just told you watching youtube videos and learning how to draw pokemon characters he's in like a total like consecutive left brain urge right now and i'm just like i'm here for it i'm like do it dude i'm like do it so so, yeah and their little like sonic has like his bursts of speed like that's totally that's an urge yeah 
if you want to see what a manifester looks like, please go watch the Sonic movie. There's a second one coming out. I think is it next month. We're we're gonna actually go try to see it in in theater. Oh, it's, we haven't been to a movie in I don't years. I don't, <laughs> I don't know when is the last time or what was the last movie I saw in theater. I'm sure it was a kids movie or something. But yeah, I saw Frozen two with Olivia. Yeah, in, I think it was 2019. Yeah, that was probably the last last mm-hmm. hurrah mm-hmm. around that <laughs> <laughs> can we is it is it safe to laugh at this stuff now where are we at where's the meter i i i don't know i don't want to be i don't like, want to i don't want to be uh yeah what's the word um insensitive to right. anybody and I'm definitely not disregarding any anybody's situation at all yeah, it's just and, and interesting anyone... to think about it as like now we're at a place where it's like, oh, I haven't done that in like three years, and it's like no big deal. <laughs> we're like, yeah, yeah. yeah moving three. I mean, a lot of people don't go to the movies. It's not like the point. Yeah, it's not it. a big thing anymore. Like a lot, of, like pretty much because everything's like streamed now. Yeah. Like, and you can basically stream movies from in theater at home, or like a lot of like the bigger name streaming services like Netflix and prime like a lot of big name people are now doing movies for them yeah so it's like fucking movies is not what it once was no it used to be so exciting did, did you ever do when you when you were in high school and you would like everybody would buy like you wanted to see a rated r movie so everybody would buy a ticket for the movie next to the rated yeah. r movie yeah. and then you would sneak in and then you'd also do the I'm going to see every movie that's on this side of the theater Mm -hmm. like and just stay the whole day or something and just see all the movies and sneak into all of them after you saw the one that you bought the ticket for or didn't buy the ticket for. Maybe you didn't even see that one because you wanted to see the rated R movie right next to it. So that's what you did instead. I I definitely did not stay all day for movies. I would only see the one. But yeah, I know a lot of people who probably... Oh, you knew never did people it? that worked in the movie theaters too because there were a lot of people that like knew older kids that worked yeah. at the theater so they would just like like the 19 year olds oh remember when movies did you ever have movie theaters that were like dollar 99 yeah that was or just dollar just dollar dollar movies not even not even 99 so give you like a penny back you're like why just keep your penny <laughs> I'm gonna be here for like two and a half hours. Yeah. Uh, oh, those were those but were the good old days. Even, I'd rather just lie and to hermit myself all day long and like sit on the couch and binge. I know TV. that's what we do now. Like mm-hmm. even regular TV, where you had to wait till the next week to see the yeah. episode. Like with with t- with shows still like that it kind of drives you a little mad you're like no just give it to me all now and i'll tell you when i want to watch it you don't get yeah. to tell me when i want to watch the show here for 10 hours and watch this one series i will <laughs> you don't to wait until next week that is ridiculous yeah so i actually know some people now that will like if there are shows like that they'll like wait for like a few of them to come out in a row and then mm-hmm. just be able to binge those few episodes. I was like, really? Yeah. That's where we're at. That's where we're at. Definitely is. So like uh I wanted to say self-satisfaction, but I meant to say, um, what's the word? <laughs> My word what whenever I come on here, what are words? What are words? Are the forty three twenty three asks. <laughs> Or at least my 40, my 43 asks, what are words? And then Leah comes around and sometimes they come together. You know, what's funny is, and maybe you can, you can translate this for me because I thought I was going to ask you today. And then I was like, I got sidetracked with everything else we were doing. We we're both busy, but <clears throat> so Olivia wakes up at like two 30 in the morning last night and she comes to my room and she's like, mommy, I can't go to sleep. Cause I can't stop thinking about things. Oh, and God. it keeps bothering me. 
she has the open head or under, I think it's either open or undefined. I can't remember which definitely all open up here. And so she's like, but I can't fall back asleep. And I was like, okay, well just lay here for a minute with me. And then she's like, okay, I need you to come and tuck me in. It's like, Oh my God. So I go and bring her in and she's like, mommy, I can't fall asleep unless you're here. I don't know what it is. And I'm like, my freaking head yes. is what it is. So I was like, yes. stop it. Human design, get out of my bedroom. <laughs> Yeah, because it, really it does like what? Okay, so the transits are definitely going to impact you more than somebody in your aura than someone in person. The transits are deeply ingrained in our crystal consciousness that is being streamed through us. I was just I was just putting together our view and motivation class, and I was going through the intro because you know I like to like go go way into the details. I'm like messaging messaging you things on Slack. I'm like, I'm creating all this stuff. And I'm just like, wow, if people really understood the way this is actually playing out, like yeah. in our minds, in our bodies, and like just reading all this information about how our like, and he was talking about in the class that I was, I was, I was reading about that, um, if any if anything's going to be able to be healed it's going to be our bodies before our minds and i thought that that was kind of interesting because we've been talking about healing and he's like it's not it's like basically saying like it's it's because the mind thinks it's in control that's that's why i feel like there's so many layers to healing and that's why i don't like the word healed because the mind is is ever absorbing and also shifting its consciousness and perception and it's just constant growth like maybe we could should talk more about growth than actually that i'm i'm trying to heal something because we're always trying to heal i feel like and i'm I, I I also have fallen victim to that, but that's why I feel like at this point in my human design experiment and also just like life in general, like I don't, I I just, I, I, I try to help myself decondition and allow myself to find centeredness in whatever way that is for me in each moment. And it's constantly shifting and changing and morphing and mutating that I don't try to hold one way anymore which is actually correct for me because i have an undefined ajna yeah so interesting yeah this transit man. yeah a lot of people have been dming dming me lately about the transits and i'm i'm happy to have these conversations yeah now. i didn't i didn't realize how interesting it was just be like and, and also in our support group it's that that's been really fun talking about yeah how are the transits showing up for you with we're all different types we have all different circuitry and it's just interesting to see like especially for the non-emotionals we're all like going for these wild rides and like our, our emotional in there is like i'm good <laughs> yeah, like fine. It's, everything's fine we're like, wow. I'm like, where yeah. is, is like the, 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 the lever to stop the ride. I'm just yeah. like, <laughs> need the break, the break button needs to, we're like hanging on to it. You have a break button. I don't know. Or a pedal. I don't care. Give me something. I don't, I don't know, but we are going to be, uh, finally taking a little breather from the the emotional waves midweek so i saw yeah i saw that coming in and i was like okay this week feels a little bit softer it's I, we're coming into me whenever we come into me i'm gonna let you know so <laughs> i just like to make fun of myself and just like because if i if i don't bring it back to myself as a one three and an aries moon then i don't know how to explain anything I'm just going to be completely honest. I don't, sorry, something, someone just threw something upstairs. Um, I just don't know how to explain anything when it doesn't, ha when it doesn't relate back to me. Like in everything that I ever, I ever put out, I had to have tried it first to see if it worked. 
Yeah. So, but I really do try, and I all, I'm always like this. I really do try to find some sort of middle ground between having awareness and and also understanding of what's happening for other people, but that I also need to take care of myself at the same time, totally. which is a very hard balance to find or yeah. harmony or synergy or whatever word you want to use yeah balance is such a hard it's that one's always been hard for me because I feel like there's no like balance there's, there's no like, real balance it's just like yeah, more just like how do things all kind of work together so I think synergy felt good when you said that it was yeah. like yeah how do things kind of fit together there in like different places because sometimes one works more than the other and sometimes my throat is gurgling sometimes one thing does you know something differently so balance isn't isn't really it could work for somebody I mean maybe balance feels good but that synergy felt good for me personally yeah. right? okay maybe that, we'll yeah. start using that word then it's all definitely I feel like when you change the language or the words that are you it really helps with you align your body. Like I noticed when I started calling myself, started calling myself recently, the human design alchemist on, on Instagram. And I was like, Ooh, Ooh. I was like, that feels very kitchens witchy to me. I'm going to, yeah. that's me. That's me. And I feel like when you just kind of shift words that are more correct for you, other people see you that way too because it's it's when you're in alignment in that 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 is your center like me alchemizing energy that feels very grounding to me that feels really like in my body when i say that so so yeah i did want to mention something though before we jump in so i mentioned a few episodes ago that my craniosacral therapist um has this cat that are actually cats there's more than one but there's one in particular that insists that he he um is in the sessions with with his clients and so he's like helping work on really i feel like this cat does a lot of root work he's always down by the root and so he has this really strong purr which is i sent it to you he actually yeah. he ended up sending it to me today i was super excited i said you know, my audience is interested in your cat purr and also your cranial sacral therapy. And so I want, I want to put it on our podcast. Would you, how do you feel about that? And then he just immediately manifest and generator just like immediately sends it to me. And then he's like giving me this whole list and he's like, let them know this. And I was like, just give me your information. I was like, yeah. I am going to just share your information. He wants to actually start selling this cat purr. Like he has like a longer, more uh, amplified, intense version of it. Yeah. And so it's like such an experience. Like when I, I, I wasn't expecting it to be that intense when he, when he, cause like I heard it on his, his uh, sound system um, at his house. And I was like, whoa, it's like, it like vibrates the house. So I was like, I didn't know what it was going to sound like through my phone. And it's actually pretty intense. He's like, please make sure you tell them that if you are going to play it on your podcast to make sure their volumes turn down a little bit and that they don't have it all the way up because he's like, it could bust someone's speakers. I was like, really? Okay. I was like, so we're going to put, we're going to drop it in here. Maybe, yeah, we'll drop it in right now. So if you guys are interested, we're going to, we're going to play this little cat purr and it's gonna really uh relax your nervous system uh I, we would all be curious and including simon would be curious to know how this resonates with you like literally how is it resonating in your body yeah. so if you listen to this please dm us let us know how it goes for you and we're gonna play it for you right now and then we'll we'll get into the show so turn down the volume a little bit here we go three two, one.
All right, we're back. <laughs> what did you think? <laughs> Let us know how that went for you. I would definitely recommend um, lying down and maybe like just taking it all in for a moment. Like if you have a nice set of headphones. Yeah, headphones probably would be nice. Because then you, it's like you're in the cat. You might be in the cat. <laughs> <laughs> the cat is like laying on your head yeah and like just massaging your ear with its purr all my low determination friends oh yeah I feel like low determination people will really like this Leah Leah went ecstatic for I didn't know how what her what her impression would be with it but you seem to really enjoy it when I sent it to you so <laughs> yeah let us know how you how you like it so I guess let's go ahead and, and dive into what's happening this week it's a little bit of a softer week than last week. Last last two weeks were rough. Okay, let's be real. Last two weeks were rough. We still got an emotional wave running through us right now, but like I said, we're going to we're going to leave that midweek. So Monday, we kick off the week focusing on survival through universal love and connection. This is an infinite love about being loving. Do you find yourself loving to a stranger, to someone you know closely or don't even know at all? Are you loving to a bug, a flower, or even a blade of grass? Grass. I'm trying to be so poetic about this and I say, blade of grass. (laughs) I'm gonna jump right back in. Blade of grass. This is our focus to see the beauty in the world and that we are all infinitely created equal. After all, we are just pieces of the light. So contemplate on that this week. That's gonna be our focus. And what are we being grounded in this week? When I say grounded, I want to invite you to take a look at your world this week and picture this gate. When I speak of grounding, I'm speaking of the earth. When a gate is in the earth, it applies density to it. So there is, so this is where you can consciously create in the world. And I want you to pay extra close attention to whenever I say the word grounding. This is where in the transits, you'll be able to understand the meaning of this gate easier and help materialize it because you can see it because it's in this dense material world during that time. Okay. So this is really a beautiful time to pay attention because because this week we're going to be grounded in the love of the body. This is the vessel. You might be finding new ways to nurture your body this week. I actually just texted my hairstylist and asked her if she could see me this week so I can get my hair done. So this is a great time to actually be getting your hair or even nails done or go get a massage do something where you are taking care of this vessel this temple of love that stores your soul okay so find something nice this week especially at the beginning of the week to do for yourself and this week is really a big opportunity to like feel a warm hug you might already be feeling right now because it started friday um so we went into that vessel of energy on friday so you might be feeling it already and if you are then that's good because this is some great energy and so what are we communicating this week or especially um, when i say at the beginning of the week emotions (laughs) we are processing our emotions from last week so now we want to we want to talk about it Can we have a little grace with ourselves if things get a little heated or have gotten a little heated this last week? Totally natural to have felt a little shaken up this last week with all of the emotional transits. It it was rough. And so Thursday, we gain a new focus with our minds. So it's kind of like we were in the body. We 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 were sitting in that, you know, that that like vessel of love energy. And then we have to come back to the minds. Okay, so we'll gain a new focus on patterns of the minds. Can you allow yourself to be open enough to see in the now? I'm going to repeat that because I want I really want you to contemplate this question. 
Can you allow yourself to be open enough to see in the now? Can we allow our minds to focus to help ground us in the past mistakes? Maybe last week was a mistake. I don't know. You tell me. Uh, Can you spot what is vital or not in your personal life and also in the collective? You see, everything is movement. We move from love at the beginning of this week into fear. fear. Fear of what the mind can tell us. Fear of what the mind can spot for us. Do you have the intuitive nature to allow yourself to not judge what stories come up for you towards the end of the week? So it's kind of nice that we're getting a little, I feel like we're getting like a little, little, little reprieve with the vessel of love energy opportunity to really come back to yourself, right? That's what the the beginning of this week is really trying to offer you. And then it's going to say, okay, let's, let's move into, um, if we can allow ourselves to move into a more intuitive sense, but for some people, especially if you have like an open or undefined spleen, it might, it might feel a little more like fear and that's okay. Like just, we have to start embracing these dark moments that we have with ourselves. So take the beginning of this week as an opportunity to embrace what is you and connection to source energy, and then allow the end of the week to show you what feels like lack for you or what is not working or needs tweaking or needs correcting. Give yourself the opportunity towards the end of the week to find solutions. That's what this, that's the high, high end of this week is to help you find solutions. It will be available for you if you need assistance. Tap into the matrix friends and ride the waves of the program so you can truly live the life you've always dreamed of. We all have one. Take advantage here this week. We will have an opportunity to to apply this correction towards the weekend So really pay attention over the weekend, how your week went, how any challenges you're facing or have faced and see at this point for you, what can come up as a solution. The weekend will also be a good time to channel, open up the records, speak to the other side, speak to the the beings or, or any loved ones that you have on the other side. We will all have a direct connection from the head to the throat over the weekend. So clarity during, during or right after this time will be very apparent for you. So we have the head, the spleen, and the solar plexus. I like words. Solar plexus action this week. We move away from emotions and into fear and intuition midweek. Look. Uh, looks like a lot of potential for this week to really create something beautiful. So tap in, observe, reflect, and then and then move. And I'll uh, pass it over to you, Leah. Sounds like it's going to be overall like not as crazy with all that conflict and friction and crisis moving out of the way at least like momentarily with the vessel of love stuff coming through it's like kind of a breath and we get a little bit of a breath coming up do you feel it right now uh right now in this very moment yes today not so much today no no not really Mike, the children were, I think they, I got to look at their charts because they're going through something. I don't know what it is, but they cannot, cannot together. It is, it was insane. Um, Well, one of them has half of the circuitry that connects to the 1949. So right now she's got the full, yeah, full 1949 up to the, to the 37. Or does she go into the G center with hers? Like, Uh, uh, or part of it, I don't remember, but she's at least got that first that first wave real forty one thirty and the forty thirty seven. So yeah, she. But she does, did. what does she have in the G center? Uh, forty six. Just the forty six. Yep. Okay. Well, she's got the first leg of it that goes yeah. from the nineteen right right now. I mean, 
the 1949 up to the 40 37 so yeah and i'm sure her sister can feel it yeah and they definitely just bounce off of each other in general so i'm sure there's something else that's i don't know i never really know what it is so i'm like just separate yourselves <laughs> go in different rooms yeah no we can really do oh um so anyway hopefully that this week i'm excited for at least the end i was taking some notes in my journal saying um to keeping it like mostly in the top of my mind like what feels like lack and needs correcting or solutions because i yeah. can find myself in that place a lot like in that lack mentality and survival mode and um well that's all be, coming from the spleen yeah it's just yeah. that fear coming back yeah. up so well like gate 18 both both uh Dave and Milo have gate 18 and wooey, they sure do love correcting people. Like Dave and his grammar, it's like, oh, he'll make sure, like, he'll make sure that you feel like you don't know what you're talking about yeah. and he'll correct every, every bit of what you said. And especially if he, if you ever ask him to like proofread something, the whole thing will be in red. <laughs> oh, so that's gate 18 so that's what we're coming into yes, it will end, end of the week mm. but it, it it's helpful to know totally. what needs to be tweaked i feel like that's what that if if you really allow that gate to to show even oh simon also has it he was he was i i was saying i i beat the wrong Beat the wrong Ibiza. What do you oh, say? I have no idea. You say Ibiza. I don't even. I don't even know what you're saying. Honestly, Ibiza, you, you know the you. Okay, we're just gonna. St we're just not gonna. We're, <laughs> we're, we're just gonna. We're gonna just stop right there, and we're just gonna move on to okay. your <laughs> to your cards. <laughs> we'll circle back to that later uh when we're done i'll cut that out <laughs> not to cut it out just <laughs> we'll, we'll be we'll we'll we're gonna do this left brain right thing for five minutes that nobody needs to listen to so <laughs> <laughs> oh that's funny okay so back to my usual items here let's see what the cards say Okay, so I got lovers and get my thing out of the way here. So the lovers card is the Adam and Eve um, with the sun uh, over the top with the angel. And this is about, uh, and again, this might have to do with that balance of the, the word balance where it's more like the, the flow between the masculine and the feminine. This could also truly be about finding, about building relationships and about loved ones and um, how they're in your life and who is in your life that's, um, you know, bringing you more guidance and who is helping you with, you know, with the pull of the, the masculine and the feminine. Um, and are, are there relationships coming up right now in your life that um, need more attention maybe, or are you finding that maybe you need to give yourself some more nourishment? Um, that might also be something that's coming up. And I feel like that's what you said with, um, what did you say from the beginning of the week, uh, grounding in the love of the body, right? So like, how can we ground into ourselves and ground into the relationships around us and allow us to um, you know, nourish those relationships and everything. So um, that's what the lovers is about. Okay. So then the second card is going to be from the work your light deck. And I have, I have a topic that I forgot I wanted to talk to you about Crystal. And I think it would be hilarious only because you've been trying to talk to me about this for the longest time. And I have been avoiding talking about it. And then someone brought it up today and I was like, oh, okay, now I have to. What is that? Brain. Oh, you know, like 2027. Oh, what do you mean? Someone brought it up today. 
Well, so we're driving to this baby shower today and they were talking about like abductions and like there was this <laughs> abduction in like New Hampshire or something. And they were listening to it on this podcast and they're like, and then they went into this whole discussion about like the gray aliens versus the green aliens and what they each do. And then I was like, oh, wow, that's interesting that you're talking about that because like I talk about, you know, like there's going to be a whole other center in like the oh, human design system in five years or something. And they were like, what? <laughs> and I was like, well, you know, I, I don't really know. Cause like I listen and I, I understand like when you say it and then I'm like, oh, but it still doesn't, I still can't like make it fit in my head. Like it's okay. still is hard for me to comprehend the whole idea of it. So like, as we start to, you know, whatever we decide to do for like a class or whatever. Yeah. That's um, when you'll know tune in. More- that's when you'll yeah. be like, I'm listening. <laughs> no, we were just laughing because it was interesting that she had like started on that topic. And then I was like, oh, well, you know, energetically, we're probably going to have a whole different breed of, or we don't even know what it's going to look like, you know, in 2027. And they were just kind of like creeped out slash interested. They There's the really 4323 like, coming, coming in with the vengeance. Well, like, I don't know. Wait if, a second. I just, I just heard you speak in my language. Is my audience here. Let me. Right. Just, I think they, I think that they, were, they were curious about where I was going to go with it. And then immediately my throat was like, no, nothing left to say. you don't need to say anything else here. And then I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, and then I was going to throw this hot tamale at you, but I don't, I'm not, it was really funny. And then we kind of joked about it the rest of the day that, and cause we were talking about stuff. I'm like, I don't really know. And they're like, oh, well, you know, that was just the gray matter. Cause you know, they've abducted you and like taking your brain <laughs> or something. And I was like, oh yeah, totally. I really <sighs> do love talking about aliens. And so I'm really excited for when we put out our view and motivation class. Mm-hmm. And I, and we, and we talk about the, like the entities that are attached to each motivation. Cause nobody talks about that. No, they don't. Like at all. Every no. once in a while. I'll see you sent me show. some information on that one time. And I yeah. was like, it was interesting. We talked about it in our motivation class that we did on clubhouse that one time. Yeah. yeah. People seemed really interested in that. That's a, that's a, that's an interesting one altogether. <laughs> So be prepared for aliens. Even yes. more weirdness. Yes. Do, 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 do. That's not the right tone, but it's okay. <laughs> I can't even come up with the other one now. It's gone. Yeah. <laughs> the X-Files. <laughs> I love the X-Files. Did you watch the new one? No, I haven't. I did. Okay. I'll I'll stop talking now. Here you go. <laughs> so the card that I got is play and have fun. And I'll put it up a little bit closer. The ladies kind of sit in like a martini glass in a bubble bath almost. It's very fun. Um, and I'm going to read right from the deck because these are downloaded messages. Okay. Stop taking life so seriously. Your spirit needs to have some fun. The more you play, the more inspiration will follow. Take some time out to do something without being attached to the outcome. You're being called to rest and play, to learn and have more fun. Do something that makes you laugh, the best medicine around. Call up a friend that you can be silly with. Take your inner child on a date. The more you switch off your mind, the more room your spirit has to whisper and guide. When we do things without being attached to the outcome, ideas, clarity, guidance, and solutions have the space to drop in. The left and right hemispheres of the brain can begin talking to each other. Make a comp- make play a compulsory part of your day. Schedule it. Spend more time doing things just because you love to do them, just because they bring you joy and light you up. If you follow what lights you up, you will light up the world without even trying. For when you are lit up, you, your spirit, and when you are in your... For when you are lit up, you are in your spirit. And when you are in your spirit, you fall into the flow of life. How do you play? How do you have fun? What lights you up? 
If you have been working hard lately, it's time to celebrate how far you've come, all that you've achieved, and don't rush into the next thing or take and take a moment to throw a party, go on vacation, or have some fun. It's a very generator card. Phew. I know. Like, I was like, not okay, so that. you're telling me what I need to do this weekend. But also, like, I feel like that's kind of the way that we can go for you if you really want yeah. to allow it. If you yeah. allow the beginning of this week to really come back to who you are and right. to really embrace that those those inner desires, those body desires, mm-hmm. right? And mm-hmm. just love of self, like love of of everything and everyone and that that even exists and allow yourself to be in that space that your mind will be free. Because what gay 25 is really about is it's about acceptance. When you can accept and surrender to like the now to the universal expression of life itself yeah i think also getting out of our getting out of our mind like you said at the very beginning like when we're out of our mind and we allow our body to like do its over yeah man our mind can crush us we're like it really is hard and we got to take some time especially right now with all of that emotional stuff that we just and the way the world is at the moment like just don't feel you don't have to feel guilty for taking a minute for yourself five minutes for yourself anything it's whatever it is for you whatever that looks for for you and your life and your family and whoever is in your life like take that time yeah I went Um, and oh I, I I nurtured my body today I went to Ulta. I got, I was very good with myself though. I'll say I was really good because usually I end up buying because I have a really hard time not buying like eyeshadow palettes. But <laughs> I told I told myself no. I was like, if if only all of you saw all the makeup I have, and I actually got rid of so much of it too. It's it's a it's extreme. My gay 15 is apparent with the amount of makeup I have. Um, so I got only what I needed. But I did go and buy myself a spring outfit. Hmm. I went. I went to Free People. I don't know if you do you know that I, one. We don't have any around here. Probably Boston would be the closest. But I have heard of them. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you can find them in department stores. Mm-hmm. So if you go to like Dillard's or Macy's or I don't know if you guys have Belk. We have Belk here. No. No. Well, sometimes you can find them in those department stores. So definitely look because they they won't have like everything, but they'll have a a, like a section, you know. And so I bought myself these really cool like running shorts from them that are like these neon green running shorts. But like you could also just wear them just regular because they're super fucking cute. Mm -hmm. And also to the uh, here comes like my kitchens. You can wear them in my 4426. Okay, I'm gonna sell them to you guys right now. Okay, you can wear <laughs> you can wear them on a run, you can wear them on a hike, you can wear them out to a juice bar. You could even wear them in the evening if you want and just put on like a cute pair of like sneakers and like go to like casual dining place. And they also have belt and underwear in them because they're for running. <laughs> Or you can wear them to the beach or to the pool. I mean, the variety of what these shorts can do for you <laughs> is endless. And that was the 4426. <laughs> but that's because I really love it. If I really love it, I can sell the shit out of anything. But I'm not I'm not selling it to sell it to you. I'm selling it because I love it. Right. There's a difference. Mm-hmm. And then I also got a little just like cute, like uh Kind of like a wine, wineishy color top, tank top. Because I'm like, you always need more tank tops, right? Yeah. Like I feel like I got, I got myself some clothes today. You did. Yeah. I got I t-shirts about- at t-shirts. Target. And I got a pair of jeans at Old Navy. It was it was love of the body, man. I mean, we're we're in it. Like this is a great time to go shopping. I think <laughs> if you could really embrace that body, it was it was. It was fun. I haven't I haven't done that in a while. Um but Milo needed needed some shoes, so we went to the mall. I was like, I'm buying myself some clothes. Just gonna happen. 
I got myself an eyeshadow palette. Crystal and I were laughing hysterically before this. <laughs> I was explaining my immense uh, no knowledge oh, at that all. Was liter- yeah. Can you repeat like, that, please? I was like, I'm- oh, man. how Can we get this on YouTube with you? So if anybody can guess what this is, it's like a stick. And it's in the thing. And then it goes. And then you put it <laughs> under your eye. And it's on a little wipey thing. And it's. Sealer. Not a little wipey thing. That's that is that is legit terms there. Little white, little wipey thing. Yeah, it comes That's... out of the tube, and it's <laughs> like lip gloss for your for your under face. Your eyeballs. For your under your eyeballs and like <laughs> a spot corrector. What is it? Tell Every us day what... I put on makeup and I'm like, I need to just FaceTime Crystal because I did this all wrong. I'm like, oh, this goes here because do, it's not when on we TikTok. did that little, I did the, <laughs> gave you that little tutorial. That one time on FaceTime, you that did, worked out great. You actually did good. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna do that if you but guys are interested. Time. I couldn't. I couldn't pick up on all you of it. You things. have. You have to do yeah. it more. It has to, to be. Rep- it has to. Uh-huh. Your gate five needs to have the repetition of it. it. Does. Absolutely. So we're gonna start doing them. We're gonna try one. We're. So, I mean, we don't know how much we're gonna do it, but I we're gonna try one. We really want to do one and I need to learn how to do makeup. Well, no, so you really want to do it. She's video. trying She's trying to get <laughs> a, a, a free lesson out of me through you guys is what's happening. She's like, hey, you want to, all you have to do is say to me, hey, you want to talk human design and put on some makeup? And I'm like, yep. yeah, I do. <laughs> I did. <laughs> it's like, do you think that we could do a YouTube where we put on makeup, like get ready with me, and then talk transits. You're know, like, yeah, sure. Yeah, so we're gonna Never. try. I don't know. If, I don't know if we can do it live because we really have technical challenges with trying to do live YouTube. So we've tried it before and it didn't work. It landed poorly. So we might just give it a, a record the first time, and maybe and see how that goes. Yeah. And then um, maybe we'll, if you, if you guys enjoy it, let us know and we'll do, maybe we'll do a live with it. We'll try on Instagram. We'll go to mm-hmm. a few different places. Yeah. Obviously not the, the podcast because you can't see anything on there. Yeah, but YouTube and uh, Instagram, if you're interested in learning about makeup or just like, if you just enjoy watching people, I don't know, some people like to just watch people do things. Like if, if you like to watch us put our makeup on, you want to learn something some sort of skill i'm always teaching i i did another one with the human design um person in and i was like teaching and trying to talk human design at the same time and i was like i can only do the most basic look so i'm gonna attempt something a little less basic this time but not too uh intricate because i cannot i'm left brain so i cannot do two things at the same time but i am right body so I feel like because of that, if I try to lean into the body and focus on what you're saying and just if my, if so, so what I've learned is that if my body knows the steps that it needs to take to apply the makeup, then I can just let it go into like autopilot and then I can have a conversation with you. It might not fully work, but that's the humor of it. Like, and, and then Leah trying to apply makeup. Um, it is going to be a lot of teaching me. I said I'm like a teenage boy. Like, I just don't know how to put on makeup. Like, I have. It's just very like an innate things. gift for me. I don't mm-hmm. know. I have a lot of line twos in my in my. Uh, it's a very kitchen-y thing too, because you're also, you're mixing things together. Line. And- creating art from it like yeah. that's a very kitchens it's thing. very kitchens it's very Me, third like, line. I have no idea what that means but yeah I love learning from you because you teach it in a way because you know all of how to like tell me where to yeah I just I just like <laughs> see the face and I see things that I think other people don't don't like when I told you that I recognize when people have nose jobs like yeah I don't know if anybody else thinks about these things but i literally can spot a nose job from like a mile away is it is it gonna get me anywhere good no is it a skill yes (laughs) it's a skill i have a skill with the body what can i say it's my unconscious son it's just 
it's freaking natural. natural. Mm-hmm. It's natural. Anything that's in your unconscious is very natural for you and you should lean into you. It's a special gift for you. Conscious part of you, a little less natural. It's a little, it's a little more mutable. It's a little bit more fluid. Your conscious part of you. You're growing into it. Unconscious part of you, pretty fixed. So noodle on all that. Noodle on that. We, we love to give education and throw in <laughs> weird things at the same time. We don't know what you guys like. We don't know. But anyways, we're just going to keep doing it. So yeah. we hope that you have a good rest of your week. Please feel free to DM us. Let us know how it went for you. I've been enjoying chatting with you guys in DMs mm-hmm. and talking about the transits and how it's affected you and also support support group peeps if you're listening let us know how you're doing in our community page this week and if you're interested in joining our support group come on over we'd love to have you i don't know why i just started a new york accent there but that's what i did (laughs) so yeah we'll see you we'll see you guys on the next one and uh have a good week have a good week Bye. bye Thank you so much for listening to this episode. Crystal and I are really here as Defined Hearts to provide value to you with our unique insights. If you have found any of this episode valuable to you, we ask that you share with a friend, tag us with a highlight on Instagram, and write us a review so we can reach more people. Human design and astrology are tools to guide us toward our transformation. You are a unique and beautiful being, and we encourage you to let that light inside of you shine bright. See you in the next episode, friends.